Right, so we're going to take a green mayfly now. This is a French partridge mayfly, and this is a green mayfly number two, and that's from Donald McLaren. So we have a size 10 B175 in here. I'm going to take our tie and slug down as far as the bend. And then we tie in about six or so fibres of cock pheasant. Personally I like them a bit longer. Some people tie them a bit shorter than that. Now the rib on this fly is gold oval. I'm going to tie that in on my side and take it down as far as the tail. And the body is natural seal spur. I'm just going to dub that on. Okay, then we're leaving space for a hackle at the head here. Alright, so the Palmer on this is a, a grizzle dyed olive. So I'm just going to take a feather and measure it up for length. That's fine. Nick off the hackle and strip a couple of mil and tie it on. So now we're going to wrap that. backwards. Four or five turns probably. The last turn coming up here right at the back. I'll take my tinsel underneath it and over the top. And then I'll wrap forward crossing each turn of hackle as I go. I get to the front. Tie that down forward, nick off our hackle, and cut off our tinsel. Now, to finish that play, we're going to put on this, which is a, an olive dyed or medium olive dyed uh, French partridge. Again, I'm just going to measure that up. So I'll strip that down. And then I'm just going to separate it out by the tip. Slide all that backwards. Nip out the tip. And just tie that in by the very last mill or so of stock. Now as I wrap this, just have, it's tied in by the tip, I'm just going to slide the fibres to one side, effectively double in the hackle. And as you notice I'm twisting the hackle as I wind it, so that it'll lay in nice and neatly. I'm just going to nick that off. And that is the flight head. I'm just going to finish it. Varnish, our usual, usual glue. And then, if necessarily, when that dries, it might get a coat of clear varnish.
There you go. Dominic learns Green Mayfly number two.